So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moans, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to then, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. Best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Thompson's Brook Avenue Maltings and Hop Distribution. A wider selection of brewery services than any other maltster in the city. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely, if he keeps up such carousing. The Black Swan is... Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him, before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the Northeast. No doubt in search of a tavern, or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for hire.
time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became a bender. Dry goods, feed, salt, and other sundries available in bulk from Robin. I've asked the criers, but they all plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it! The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Is to church, but one way or another, they get 
Don't envy the man. These grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat. <laughs> good call, that. And they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir. Where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the Order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. well guarded. We need to slip past them.
I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Now, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Still a minute. I can't decide where to start. Maybe you'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen like yourself. Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me work. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake. You are absolutely mad. Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. 